An upstate nurse says she's lost more than $3,000 after scammers pretending to be from her bank tricked her into transferring money. She sat down with our Taggart Hauk, and Taggart joins us live now. And Taggart, she wanted to talk tonight because she wants to warn other people against this scam, right? Jane and Nigel, that's exactly right. Yeah, she's been working a lot of overtime, but never did she expect to be in this position. Approved Zelle, you can have the Zelle app. And After a long day of work last month, at 9.22, it says you've added Seitzer Meredith. Meredith Seitzer received this text from what appeared to be Bank of America. Along the lines of, you know, did you attempt a Zelle transaction of $3,500, yes or no? And I'm like, that's kind of weird. She ignored it, but about 15 minutes later, my phone rings and it is Bank of America's 1-800 number. And I'm like, oh my gosh, some, maybe that was for real. They're calling me to tell me now that something's going on. The caller seemed nice and gave what he said was his employee ID number. I think he said you need to, you know, look at everything and then you need to go to your Zelle and make sure that, you know, your Zelle is unfrozen, I think is the word he used, so we can send you your money back. And so I log on and I even say, I don't see anything weird about my accounts. He insisted that she approve a Zelle request from her full name and phone number, which she did. But during the call, an email came from Bank of America, which she didn't see. It said her phone number had been removed from her mobile banking account and logged in with another account. Next thing I know, I look down, I have a text message from PNC Bank saying, my name has sent you, and it says $3,500 to an account number that I don't own and that I don't have at PNC Bank. She reached out to Bank of America at 918 that night, and I still have it in email form, but hasn't had any luck getting her money to, back. Uh, Bank of America tells us it would not ask for sensitive account information or request that a client transfer money between accounts in order to prevent fraud. Seitzer said she wants others to be on the lookout. The hard part, too, is just thinking about, you know, there's a lot of people who work very hard, and if I can keep this from happening to them and having that feeling of, oh my gosh, that was so much work that I just basically just went out the window, um, then it's worth it. She is also hoping that she can get her money back. She says she is expecting to hear back from Bank of America within the next month. In Greenville, Taggart, how could be YFF News 4.